8 Lessons I Learned from a Friend at College While growing up, I hardly read any other material but my academic materials. I was learning to be a great employee. But being a great employee is not the best way to financial freedom. Except you are a top employee in a multi-million dollar company. Somewhere along the line during my evolution, I realized that reading books is essential. Charles T. Munger, a billionaire with an estimated net worth of $1.6 billion once said and I quote. In my whole life, I have known no wise people over a broad subject matter area who didn't read all the time. None. Zero. You'd be amazed at how much Warren reads, and at how much I read. My children laugh at me. They think I'm a book with a couple of legs sticking out. The average CEO reads an average of one book a week. Clearly, I needed to begin reading more books. I had a very tight schedule at the time, but if I wanted to give myself a fair chance at success, then I had to just create time for it. I have a friend whose second nature is reading. You can tell that he is far more knowledgeable than most of his peers from the perspective he brings to every conversation. And this can mostly be attributed to his love for reading. One day, we engaged in a conversation and he decided to share with me some lessons he learned from reading a few good books. I will share those lessons in this video. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe so that you can be informed when we put out new amazing videos like this one. Number 1. Paddle and Pray. He told me a story about two brothers who were at sea. There was a huge storm and they felt stranded. Thank goodness they had oars. One of them asks his brother. Should we paddle or should we pray? At this point, my friend expected me to complete the story. It would be stupid to just pray and not paddle. But it would also be unwise to paddle without prayer. You may not know this, but very many successful people attribute their success to obeying a certain divine calling or inner guidance. Prayer is one way to connect with that voice. The lesson my friend was trying to draw my attention to here is that you should never allow yourself to be paralyzed by fear of failure. It is okay to fail. Fail fast but make sure you fail forward. Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger got an investment of about $500,000 to build an app called Bourbon. After all the time invested in building the app, they could only get 100 users. Bourbon was a failure. They could have quitted if they wanted to, but they decided to tweak things a little. And that was how Instagram was born. Three years later, they sold Instagram to Facebook for $1 billion. Always remember. Paddle and pray. Number 2. Always pay attention to details. The things we think do not matter, sometimes are the things that matter the most. The difference between a cheap restaurant and an expensive one is in the details. The cheap restaurant doesn't care if their seats are neat or not. There isn't someone there to open the door for customers. Aesthetics is poor, etc. Whereas, in the expensive restaurant, it's the exact opposite. The owner of the cheap restaurant may feel that those little details don't matter, but the owner of the expensive restaurant knows better. If you want to be world class in any profession, then you should be able to decompose complex concepts into simple ideas that can be built back to new complex ideas. This is how inventions, new formulas, and new theorems come about. And this would be impossible without paying close attention to details and knowing how every intricate part of the system you are studying works. Learn the basics and learn it really well. Always pay attention to details. Number 3. Top Tier Specialist. The fastest way to be a success in our modern age is to be an entrepreneur. But this comes with a lot of risks. If you want to be a millionaire by being just a specialist, then make sure you are among the top 1% in the world. Anything less might not get you to your goals of becoming a millionaire. It doesn't matter what you studied, neither does it matter what your craft is. If you are the best in the world, you have a pretty good chance of ending up a millionaire. So what will it be for you? Specialist or entrepreneur? Let us know in the comment section below. Number 4. Enjoy the journey of life. A lot of us have goals that we want to achieve and we are sacrificing everything just to get there. We are enduring frustration because we believe that we would find happiness, satisfaction, and fulfillment if we hit that goal. What if you were wrong? What if you hit that goal and even with all that money, you realize that you are not truly happy? Even worse, what if you do not ever reach the goal? It is for this reason that it is extremely important to enjoy the journey of life. To enjoy the grind. 
Because if you are enjoying the journey, then whether or not you get to your desired destination, you will still be happy. Build your hustle around things that interest you. Work on it day and night. But make sure that you are enjoying the journey. Number 5. Your view of life affects your choice of opportunities. There are a lot of arguments that we live in a subjective reality and not an objective one. One event can be interpreted in two different ways by two different people. While some people view an economic crash as a time to dread, some people look forward to an economic crash because of its potential for enriching people who take advantage of it. Warren Buffett once said and I quote, I hope to see more recessions as time goes on. Some people may write him off as a bad person for saying this, but clearly, he is seeing something in recessions that most of the masses don't. If you view multi-level marketing as a scam, you will turn down all opportunities to work in a multi-level marketing company no matter how much they are willing to pay. Understanding that the views you hold about life greatly affect your response to the things happening around you is the first step. The second step is to do a lot of research. Both internal and external. Find out what resonates with you on the inside, and also upgrade your understanding of the world around you. This is why reading is absolutely essential. Books shape your mind and they give your brain the tools it needs to work on ideas. Warren Buffett reads about 500 pages of newspapers daily. He spends almost 80% of his days reading. Books have shaped his mind. And his views about the world we all live in are vastly different from the views held by the majority of the people in the world today. Bottom line? Read more books to expand your mind. Because the view of life which you hold, will affect your choice of opportunities and even your ability to recognize such opportunities in the first place. Number 6. If you do not understand the game you are playing, you are destined to fail in the long term. This applies to people who rush into an industry without knowing the basics and hope to make money from it. Even if this pays off in the short term, in the long run, failure is unavoidable unless you become knowledgeable on the subject. Some people pump their money into the stock market without understanding it. Same with the cryptocurrency market. Warren Buffett, undoubtedly the greatest investor of our generation, never invests in what he doesn't understand. According to him, you may make some wrong choices, but the few good choices you make, are enough to get you to where you want to be. He turned down investing in Microsoft which is a huge miss, but remember that you don't have to get it right all the time. The few you get right will more than compensate for all your wrong decisions. Just like in the case of Warren Buffett who clearly made a couple of wrong choices, his right choices have overcompensated for that. With great knowledge about a field, your actions are more calculated and you better equipped to make better decisions. So, be it cryptocurrency, stock trading, forex, real estate. No matter what it is. If you do not know what you are doing, you are going to run into failure sooner or later. Number 7. Always carry out opportunity cost analysis. If you have a goal that you are working towards, it is always good to set deadlines. When opportunities in other fields are presented to you, always evaluate how joining that venture affects your main goal. Elon Musk, for instance, began a PhD program in applied physics and material sciences at Stanford University in 1995 but dropped out after two days to pursue a business career during the internet boom. He could only do one of the two. Join the early birds who profited greatly from the internet boom, or conclude his PhD and join the business world after that. He probably did an opportunity cost analysis and decided to head to the business world. He had his own goal. Yours could be different. What is important is that you are aware of the effects of your present actions on your long-term goals. If a present opportunity robs you of the ability to hit your main goals in record timing, perhaps you need to sit down and think things again. Number 8. Cheap, fast, and great. My friend asserts that in any business you want to undertake, you can only choose two out of these three choices. Cheap, fast, and great. If you choose cheap and fast, the business won't be great. If you choose fast and great, then it wouldn't be cheap at all getting there. If you choose cheap and great, then it probably would take you a very long time to get there. I do understand to a certain extent what he is saying. For instance, if you want to build a big company from the ground up as quickly as possible and you want it to be great, then you can be sure that you will spend a lot of money on recruiting specialists, equipment and even on advertising. That would mean you chose fast and great. If you want a great company but want to start with a low budget, then, you can be sure it will take you a very long time to get to your goal. 
And that would mean you chose cheap and great. There are a whole lot of other things I have learned from this guy, but this video is getting too long so I have to stop here. If you are new here, this channel is all about wealth, business, and making money online. Do subscribe if you haven't. And let us know in the comment section below what your greatest takeaway is from this video. We will see you in our next episode. Thanks for watching. As always, stay energized.